Hello, welcome. Pardon the alfalfa hair over here. Um, it's been a fun day. I got to create Bitly in a Google Sheet. Basically, I added click tracking to this Google Sheet, something that I've been trying to do forever. And I don't know why, but I just figured it out today and I coded it up. It's all about the code today. So what's going to happen is this video is going to go out all uh, first to all Better Sheets members and then you're going to be able to watch it on YouTube. If you are watching this on YouTube, you do not have access to the code. You have to be a Better Sheets member. If you're a Better Sheets member, the um, the link to the to the sheet and the code is all in the description of this video. And so, uh, go ahead, make a copy of it for yourself. Um, if you are watching on YouTube. Feel free to uh, follow along, try to uh, code it yourself if you wish, or become a Better Sheets member today and go grab the code right away. Um, here's what it does. Here's what click tracking does in your Google Sheet. If you have a URL that you want to track, like bettersheets.co, you put it in this uh, database tab uh, as actual link. Uh, just a totally random code here. I can use anything. I can use these numbers. And here's the number of clicks. Um, I will show you how this works, but basically this is script.google.com, and then it's a really long, it's not a link shortener, it's a click tracker. So this is a really long link, but I click it, I go to, I get to this redirecting page, and then it takes me to bettersheets.co. That redirecting page, I can edit, and I'll show you how to edit it. And if we go back to click tracking in our, data, in our database tab, it says 15 clicks. I can reset this at any time. There, I reset it. So now I click again, and we see the read. We'll see the redirecting. We can close that one. Last one we used. You'll see redirecting anytime now. It's really slow because I'm on my computer because it's. Uh, it's using the, the bandwidth to load this video as I as I make it on Loom. Let's go back to here, and it has one click. Now, this URL that you see, I'm using a little bit of a trick here. I'm using the hyperlink formula to display one link, but use this get URL to click as a custom function that I built um, to get our actual custom link. And what it does is that it's an actual Google script web app. I've published it as a web app. Here, I'll even show you the code here. And I've published this as a web app. And what happens is this, this uh, get URL to click will add at the end the, the URL of the web app. It'll add this question mark. It'll say unique equals. And then it will add whatever unique code we want. So if we want to change this to better sheets co and just anything, it will still work because that's the unique thing now. Now, uh, if I use the uh, URL with the other code, th that will stop working, but this one will <laughs> continue working. So it's, it's, it's a very uh, <laughs> not weird uh, function, but it's again, it's not like bit.ly or anything. Um, we're, we have to let's see if it works now. <laughs> there we go. So now we'll get to that script.google.com, redirecting. And do we make it? There we go. We made it to bettersheets.co. And now that should show up as two. See? And again, this will, if I copy this link, so copy link address, and let's just create, let's do incognito. Uh, and see, this is the entire thing. So this. URL is the URL, is the web app URL, and we really just did a do get, which is like basically the uh, Google Scripts get, um, and we added this unique equals, and then we used this code. And I'm going to walk through the code for you. Um, if you want, if, again, if you're not a Better Sheets member and you want access to the code, become a Better Sheets member, or just like literally pause and copy down this script if you want to put that much effort into it. Feel free. Um, but I'm going to walk through how it works first. Um, but first, I'm going to walk through some use cases. So this is the click tracker, right? Um, this kind of click tracking is uh, relatively user-friendly because 
It's not tracking IP addresses. Bit, if you go to Bitly, they have like 20 pieces of information that they're tracking. Um, user, like the person who clicks it, where, where they are, how many times it's used in other places, how many people make Bitly's for your link. Um, this literally is just tracking your clicks. So you can use this to compare uh, links that you send for sales materials, um, What's I, I wrote some down. So like if you if you're sending sales materials and you need to know like within the, this week, I just need to know how many clicks I get or if somebody clicked yes or no. Um, that's a really good usage of this. Instead of having to sign up for Bitly, create this in in a Google Sheet for yourself and then use it as many times as you want, or make it p part of like little teams. Like give each one different um, dashboards or something. You can measure marketing campaigns email marketing campaigns, social marketing campaigns, Facebook ads, and anywhere where, where you're using links. Um, I, would, I would do a little bit more testing than I've done um, just to make sure it, it consistently works. <laughs> um, and you're not changing the URL all the time. Like if, if you're like, oh, well, I don't want random numbers here. I want a, this number. And then you change it halfway through the campaign, you're going to lose the usage. Like literally those links won't work anymore. Um, so some other use cases are like if you have if you create a swipe file with a Google Sheet and then you're just like how many people are actually using this like which which of these you know hundred pieces of information or or websites that I used as as I that I gave out as like a inspiration which ones are actually used here um, if you want to shorten not, not shorten but track your email links. Um, when you're sending out email campaigns, you're sending out emails to particular people just internally, you know, you're like, Hey, did that person ever get into that Google slide? Um, one of the most interesting things that have been requested is sort of like, how do I know how many people have like accessed my Google sheet? Well, now you have a link that's tracking how many times people click on that. So you don't have to actually do anything in the Google sheet itself that you're trying to share and be like, how many people are opening this? Just track the, the how many people click on the link to get there. Um, and this really does allow you to replace Bitly. Um, again, it doesn't. it's not fully featured. It's not everything in Bitly. But it just link, uh, <laughs> tracks those click, link, <laughs> link clicks. Oh, my God. It's a tongue twister. Um, okay. So now I'm going to go through the code, and I'm going to share with you exactly how it works. Um, I'm going to make a copy of this sheet after that, and we're going to, and I'll show you how to set it up. So I think this is a really cool video where you get to see it working. Now you get to see how it works, and then I'm going to make it in another Google Drive so that you can, to you'll totally know if this works 100%. If I if I mess up, you'll see the mess ups. Every problem I go through that you'll go through, I'll go through. So um, first, let me explain how this works. Um, you are going to I'll, I'll go through the notes later because we're going to walk through it. But basically, uh, there is a URL for the web apps app itself. And every link that we make with this get trackable, get URL to click, it's just taking that web app. It's going to that web app. It's saying, give me the unique code that that is at the end. Okay. And it's saying, now go find that unique code on the DB tab. So we have our unique codes here. It's parsing that uh, that equal unique equals. It's parsing that better sheets co. Here I'll show show you again in the um, copy link address. I'll paste it here in a new tab. Right there. So this URL, it, this is the the uh, all of this here is the web app, which I'll show you later how to get that uh, when we set it up. But now we have a question mark unique equals and it says better sheets co. Okay? So this code right here is saying uh, just get me the database. Get me all of the values. This one is all of the unique values. This is all the real URLs. And it's literally listing those in an array of, of answers. And what it does in this for loop, okay, in a for loop it says Find me the one that matches with this unique code. So go, it, it grabs this um, column, unique code, and it says better sheets co matches this one, which is the first one. And in uh, array, in array talk, that's actually the zero one. So it says, give me that zero. It says find that zero one, 
and now go get whatever is in the other this um, this column. Give me what is in the zero part of that column, okay? And then redirect me. But it doesn't redirect me right away. So what it does is it does this HTML service dot create HTML output, and it does this body, and it says body, and then in the script, it, it's actually a we can take out this redirecting, and it's we can actually take out this whole body, and it just creates an HTML output, and the only thing it does originally, or what it only really does, is it says window.top.location.href, which is saying the, the, the HTML top that you're in, this, this Chrome browser, go to the URL, and it's getting this zero one. So it says go to bettersheets.co, and that's it. So it's really redirecting. And then I added this body redirecting just so that you have some script here. Let me show you what it looks like. If we take out this body part, let me do let me do this. Let me grab this body because we're going to put it back in once we, we do it. I'm going to just copy it. I'm going to delete it, save it. I'm just going to hit publish, deploy as web app. I have to do, I'll show you this again later. Um, showing off without redirecting text. Update. Now we don't have to do anything to the web app URL. All these links still work. And now what will happen is you will not see the text that says redirecting. What you'll see is this like just message that if it, if it takes some time here, it'll say a message like, this application was created by another user, not by Google. It's just like letting people know this is not cool. So there it goes. See, the link still works, but it didn't have that message of redirecting. So we're just going to add that right back in. So now all we do is add body redirecting. It's just text that says redirecting. You can say anything you want there. If you want to brand this, if you want to put um, a quick message that says, like, thanks. You want to put an image here, I I don't 100% know if that'll work, but um, let me now publish again. And again, this is how you make changes. I might show this again later. Um, put back in text redirecting. Um, I might show this later, but I might not. Is like this is how you update it. If you want to add different elements to it, you literally just deploy as web app again. Make sure you click new up here and then click update and all the links will still work because that web app URL is still the same. So now if we go and use one of these links, let's go to gumroad.com. Now we should see an HTML thing that says here text that just says redirecting. There it is, redirecting. That's it. That's all it says. That's all it needs to say because right away we're over at gumroad.com. Cool. So that is how to add click tracking and redirecting to your Google Sheets. Um, you get this code. You'll be able to copy this code if you want to, and then you'll have to create a DB tab and a settings tab so that we read it. But I'm going to show you how to change those things in just a second. First, the first thing we're going to do right now is I'm going to open a incognito tab. I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're just going to write copy at the end. If you get a link, if you get this link, you'll get this link with copy at the end, which will bring you here. And it will just say copy. Oh, I, oh, I have to log in. Um, in a second. Let me log in with another account. And should be able to log in. So the month that ping. It says welcome. <laughs> ah, I need access. Good thing I did this. And we'll share this. All right, we're back in. We're now making a copy of it. Now, if you get the link, you will get this. You can make a copy. We're going to make a copy anytime now, waiting for Google Docs. All right, so now you can get this. You can see this URL up here. You can't copy this because this one won't be available to everyone. Um, Meaning this is like a different, this is just a copy of it. The original is available to all Better Sheets members. I'm going to call this my click tracker. Click track tracker. Just a clicker tracker. All right, my clicker tracker is here. Um, now, what I need to do is go to file, nope, not file, <laughs> tools. 
This is what you're going to have to do in order to set this as a web app. I'm going to go to script editor anytime now. It's probably a little slow because, again, I'm recording this video as we speak, um, as you watch this video. All right. So we need to get the web app URL. How do we get that? We go up here to publish. We click deploy as web app. And there we go. And we click new. And we deploy. Review permissions. I have to, you have to also do this because it needs some permissions. Do, 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 do. I wish I had Jeopardy music play. I guess I don't because that would be... So it just needs to see, edit, create, and delete your spreadsheet. Oh, that's, that's not so bad. Allow. This project is now deployed as a web app. So this current web app URL, go ahead, Command A, Command C. I'm going to copy that whole URL. I'm going to go to my clicker tracker, go to settings, and replace this one here in B1, okay? I'm going to delete that and paste it. So now you can even see here it says campfeeapproved.com. So I'm on the campfeeapproved.com uh, um, um, domain. So <clears throat> this script is now mine, not the original one I was using. So if I go over to the DB, I think it will already be here. This get URL to click is already here. And we already have a script, so let's double check. Let me reset all of these. And let's double check that this is working, right? Because if it's not working, I have to go and fix something. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited redirecting. All, everything is working so far. Let's go see if it actually... Did it track the click? Oh, no. Okay, so I think I figured it out. So when you copy it, you have to disable web app because it probably is copying my web app as if it's yours. So first off, when you go to publish, deploy as web app, um, disable web app. Um, yes. And then... Execute as me and anyone, and then click new, and then web, and then deploying. And let's see if this will work now. Now again, grab this, and we don't have to update this every time. We um, it should be the exact same. But let me double check. Maybe it's yeah, it is the same. Yep, same, so just paste that there. Let's see if now it works. Once we uh, disable it and then enable it again, let's see if this works. There it is. So that was the trick, is when I originally copied it, it was still running the web app as my, old, my web app. So you will have to disable the web app and then enable it. So again, you're going to go to, let me do that again, so you can just double check and see that you can see it, is we're going to go to Tools, going to go to Script Editor, and this will probably be much quicker for you because you're not also recording the video. You're going to go Publish, Deploy as Web App, and then you're going to have to click Disable Web App, Update, and then... Um, then deploy again and just keep clicking new when you update it uh, so that it writes over again and you can have different project versions just in case you make changes. Okay, so now this new clicker tracker is working in, we're just going to double check that another, like another URL definitely works on here. Again, we can make a lot of edits here. See, one and one, and then if we make another click on this URL, there you go. So we'll close that, go back. Fingers crossed, it says two, yes. Okay, so if you are anywhere in your sheet, you can use this function to get a URL to click. Okay, so you just go here and you say, 
here in the DB, all we have to do is add like HTTP S. Uh, let's do um, YouTube.com slash better sheets. And our unique code will do YouTube. That's it. Okay. Now, all we have to do is get this um, URL. Okay, so <laughs> this is really weird. So all we need to do is get this YouTube, okay? So we can do that here. We can do equals, oops, get URL to click, and we just need to do B6. We can also, if we know it, we can do it like that, and that's going to get us this script. Um, we really, even if you know, you can also create this URL on your own because it's just going to be the first part of the web app. So it's all of this in settings here. It's just this URL, then in question mark, and then unique equals whatever the code is, okay? That is, that is the URL to get this finishes. So we can also put this in anywhere we want. So I, I can even delete this. This won't, I'm not gonna delete the whole thing, just in case you want it. So we can say, okay, we need a URL here, link to YouTube. We can go equals get URL to click, and just type in YouTube. Let's see that link, and now go to that link, and it should redirect us to our YouTube, youtube.com slash better sheets. There it is. So if we go back to our database, see, it says one, okay? So all we need to do now is know this unique code that we typed in. It could be anything. You could also, if you just need random numbers, you can do, do that, round up, get a random set of numbers, and then shift command V, and now that'll work. So our YouTube, our, our unique code YouTube won't work anymore, but now this will work. So we can do, again, equals get URL to click anywhere we want. We just get that, or we can say B6. Works the same, we're just getting this, these numbers, and there's our script. So again, our script will take us to Better Sheets YouTube page, and it will add one here, so two. So this is how we can then use anywhere in our sheets we can create now, we have a database, so we can say link to YouTube. We don't have to show this, okay? We just need this URL to click, okay? So we want to say, we want it to say we want to make a nice cool button here. Let's say we want to make it look like this and make a URL here. So we go hyperlink and we get that get URL to click and put in YouTube comment. And then what's the label we want here? We want it to say YouTube link. And now that's a link to our script. So let's take all of that. Let's go to view. Let's get rid of our grid lines. Let's make this centered, I guess, and make it like a button, maybe, like a big green button. Green button? Yeah, maybe red button. A big red button with text white. Let's change that to like impact or something, or Arial Black is good. 20. There you go. And actually, let's make this even like look a little but more buttony. Let's put our borders thick in those bottom. Ooh, yeah, bottom and side. Make it a little buttony. And now we have a link here, YouTube link. We can even, I wonder if it's going to let us merge all of these together. Let's merge those sales. There we go. It's one, one giant cell to rule them all. And anywhere we go here, boom, click that link, YouTube link, and now, whoops, we have an error. Oh my God. 
An error. Doo -doo. Oh, wait, no. Because we got an error because we don't, we're not using YouTube anymore. We're using this. So if I change this back to YouTube, doop, boop, 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 now it'll work. So I showed you one, one error you're going to have. If you change your, your unique codes, you're going to have errors. It's going to look like an error that you can't, it, it won't know where to go. <laughs> it just, it won't find it, right? So we have our link. Got to see an error. And now we have three here. So we can also use this, like if we have this link, right? We can we can make a little dashboard. It's like, oh, um, number of clicks. And we can go equals, <laughs> right? And we just point it over here at this. And now, actually, I want to do this. I want to say three people clicked the link. Make this, center it up. Do, 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 do. So now every time we click it, let's just open in a new tab in the background. Look at that, that number just keeps going up every time somebody clicks that button. And so now we can create little cool dashboards of like, if we go back to our newsletter mall, if you ever, if you haven't checked it out, go check out um, virtual newsletter, virtual mall.com. Check out newsletter, virtual mall.com. If I had this click tracking before, I could have put every link behind a click tracker and known which newsletters actually get more clicks than others. So I can figure out, oh, which storefronts are working better? Which ones should I sell for more amount of money the next time if I sold storefronts? And I think it's a really fun um, thing to add to our sheets, especially for even internal use, just to know, like, hey, if we send out links in our emails, um, you can use this outside of Google Sheets as well. This is really cool. Um, this is just like a really basic click tracker we can use outside of Google Sheets, but Google Sheets is definitely going to... Uh, power this and I'm really excited to see what use cases you have if you're using this if you run into any issues email me um, if you are watching on YouTube then uh, just find my email somehow I guess <laughs> become a better sheets member um, as of right now as of making this video better sheets is available uh, with AppSumo so go check out bettersheets.co there's a link there to buy it on apps and we'll get lifetime access right now um which means like as as we improve as we get more and more videos all templates and stuff that i make as part of better sheets are available all of them are available to better sheets members they are able to go and copy the um the pay the the original template and the original code if you are not um able to pay then um go ahead and try to recreate this yourself with with by watching this video you're more than welcome to um, but I think it's a fun implementation and a really, really cool way to really power our sheets in a whole new and different way. Track those things. Do A-B testing in a Google Sheet with links. Um, really, really fun things. I think you're going to come up with some really cool ideas. Again, let me know those ideas. If you're watching on YouTube and you use this and you put it on – and you use it in a really cool way, uh, go ahead and share this link. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, um, I have a public Facebook group called I Love Google Sheets. Go share your use of this in there. Um, I really like to hear your cool uses of your click tracker inside of there. So facebook.com slash groups slash I Love Google Sheets. If you love Google Sheets too, I think you're going to love that group and share all cool stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed adding a click tracker to your Google Sheets. Bye.